I think um, first of all, Young from Ian Um I know my, the captain doesn't want to hear my voice, but I have to ask a question. Though. Coach, Coach the, the one quote I took out of your conference, a bit of the Bombera test was, you said if you lose your focus for one second, this New Zealand side can punish you. Is that still the thinking of the spin box into the second class, knowing that you beat them conversely in Bombela? Can I can just add something to the whole choices to look with um, issue? Is it not a case of Jacques Mina, but you guys management throwing him in the deep end against a team like New Zealand? And see that. I'm going to ask you this question. Away from your team, I know you want to focus on your team and your team only. Something significant happened this morning here in France. They'll tell you guys to go a team photo with the women's team. What is your message to the women's team? They're playing against Spain. And what do you say to your fans? Would you want them to come out and support the women's team as well? Uh, welcome back, Pessy. Good to see you, man. Ah, uh, Pessy, yeah, like I've mentioned, all blacks are a world class side. You know, it takes a good performance to beat them. People, they, they look at the results at the moment and think the All Blacks are a bad team. You know, it took Ireland for them to play their probably best possible games they've ever played to be able to beat the All Blacks in New Zealand. Same goes with us. I think that was one of the best performances in my experience since Yokohama against England. The way we executed our plan, you know, and the way the guys were playing for 80 minutes in the game where we kept on fighting, you know. And you saw a bit of when they scored their try. It was from they are half, you know, where one of our players, I think two of our players, where we switch off a bit and we miss the tackles. And that's the that's that's what the old guys can do to you on a day. If you switch off, they will punish you because of they've got world class players. Having Mawunga now in that team to start will even make them more dangerous, you know. So once again, all blacks are not a bad side, you know. It takes the Springbok team to be able to play their best game to beat the all blacks, you know. So once again, for us, it's a massive challenge, and uh, we know we know tomorrow if we must, if we're going to win the game, we're going to have to play probably again another and top up the best performance that we had last week. You know, so once again, they've got world-class players. There's a massive respect between the two teams. You know, Percy and uh, for me, I'm just also happy in the fact that in our squad, if you look at our squad now at the moment, we've got a lot of great leaders in that squad. If you look at the Captains that we've got, see, I mentioned Dwayne, see, as a, a captain from the Sharks, we've got guys like Lucano, the experience that we've got, Stephen Kitsov, Stomas, Stomas captain. I think we are in a good position, and our guys, I think they're taking a full responsibility on how to manage the game because of once again, if you go back to Wales, we started slow, you understand, when we played in, in a it loved us, but I think the guys now at the moment, we're starting to gel in now as a team, you know, and uh, it's good to see. Uh, us that at least we can contribute in our country where we make our supporters happy. So I'm very happy and uh, looking forward to the challenge tomorrow. And once again, congratulations to uh, Franz Malero, who's going to have also a massive milestone, 50th game, you know, someone who's been, a lot of people don't say much about him, but he's one of the guys that I've got a soft spot for him, you know, because of tight heads, <laughs> the amount of job they're doing on the field, you know, when it comes to the scrums, you know, when it comes to the malls when it comes to the line out when it comes to the breakdowns a lot of people don't realize the value that he adds in our team so um once again congratulations to him and i'm uh, very very proud of him and uh, with massive respect for him